I got my new mulcher yesterday. And the first thing I did was customize it. I know it's a little dark in the shop here because I live off grid and I don't use a lot of electricity, but this is how the, the unit comes with just enough room to put an inch and a half, maybe a two inch stick in there. And if you look at the system, it actually is cut out all the way down there, the same shape. And there's no way for anything to fall or get into the machine. It all feeds straight down into the mulcher. I imagine somebody cut their fingers and they decided to, to make a design like this so that you could still get leaves and stuff in there, but you're not going to be an idiot and shove your hand down there and cut it up. I can't think of any other reason why they would have closed off this gap. And uh, I just used a marker. I could see where it was lined out and traced it and used my jigsaw to cut it out. Don't try this at home. But you see the even the stuffer doesn't go in there. I swear they probably designed it like this before and then changed it. And I could be wrong, but at any rate, I bought this mulcher because I want to mulch my compost down i don't even have that many branches and this is basically a branch mulcher they also have leaf mulchers but guess what i don't have many leaves either so living in the high desert i'm in the twilight zone they don't build a mulcher for me really but if they did it would probably be like this basically and the reason why is because most of the stuff i want to throw through here is manure which is shaped more like this than a stick <laughs> unless you're lucky i guess I think this will work out better for me. So we're going to run it out there. I have a big old pile of compost and we can break it down and start to add it to the rest of the compost. Yesterday I turned both of these compost piles and just now I got my first bag of mulch from the mulcher. <laughs> well, that's not too bad, huh? Hopefully that'll help get these things started. This is a mixture of straw and hay and manure and some sticks oh and i tried cardboard at first but it didn't it didn't want to keep going through very well it was kind of plugging it up i was hoping i'd be able to break up the cardboard with it i did do a bunch of banana pills and then this compost that you know this would take a long time to break down and so I'm trying to speed it along and so it looks like mostly what I'll be doing is uh, straw hay and manure and then stuff like the bananas pills here
this is my old compost pile. I'm pulling all the cardboard off. So I got that over here. And then there's all these little pieces with leaves and branches and banana peels. I'm collecting those, corn stalk, and that I'm gonna throw in the mulch here. And then I can bring shovel loads of this other old compost over and just make my piles bigger because they need to be more like three foot by three foot. They certainly, it's been like three days and they it's it's not like it's a hot pile yet. I might need to be adding more carbon than I am. I've got another bag here. So we're getting some pretty good mulch out of this stuff that I've got over there. Banana pills and corn husk and straw and hay that would normally take a long time to break down. Of course I'd like it if it did a better job at larger stuff and more stuff. But it was the cheapest mulcher I could find on Amazon. So I think that the main point is can I create some mulch to add to my compost? And I can. I'll be able to break up most of my manure, straw, hay kind of stuff. And uh, hopefully that'll make these piles hotter. This video just focused on the mulching aspect. And I'm still going to put together a full video from the beginning to the end of me getting these compost piles going and getting them so that they're hot and breaking down faster than any of the compost on my homestead ever has. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a comment if you got questions. Uh, check out these videos right here. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.